Hi, welcome to video number six. In this video, you're going to learn how to connect to the FTP account in FileZilla. Very, very easy since you finished number video number five, which is basically entering the account information. If you did that step, you did it right, then all you have to do is click the down arrow here next to this box, click on that folder, and then click there, and you're done. So as you can see, it was just that easy. Now, let's say that you want you have two different domain names but you want to have you know two different tabs open you can do that if you want to that way you can switch between jobs now if you do that you have the option of aborting this specific connection and creating a new one or creating a totally different one so I'm going to choose this one and as you can see I have access to two different FTP accounts so as you can see if if I'm uploading two different sites or three or four or five different sites, then I can keep all these sites open and then multitask between them. But I would say if you're brand new to FTP, I would recommend just keeping one tab open. Otherwise, it can get confusing. Once you get used to it, then you can begin to do that and open new tabs. Now, if you want to disconnect, you can click on this or click on this. But if you want to disconnect, just click this and it'll disconnect. Now let's say that you're in a rush and you just don't have time to you know, go down here, find the domain name and so forth. You could click on this down arrow and it'll allow you to choose sites that you, cho you connect to previously. And another avenue that you could take is if you, let's say you're in a big, big rush and all you have to do is enter the host name here, 30 minute scrapbooks.com scrap if you enter the information up here you click on quick connect you'll notice that it connects as well and then if you drop down the menu it'll you'll see it here as well but if you do it this way it does not save inside your site manager which is a downside because in the future when you have more and more domains it will get confusing so that's why I recommend using the site manager. So let's move on to video number six where I'm going to show you what folder should you upload your files to because there are a lot of folders here www, public underscore HTML and so forth. So let's move on.